Yo, what is going on, guys? My name's Austin, aka Mr. Big and Tasty. Today, I'm bringing you guys some A94 gameplay on the map slums. And today, I thought I'd just bring you guys some domination tips and tricks. Now, the reason why I really wanted to bring this video is because domination is my favorite game mode. And not all the time, but um, sometimes there isn't somebody online or enough people online to get into a full party. And so, it's really hard to um, do good because half the people I play with online is literally half retarded. So I'm not, yeah, I'm kind of talking to those people who are half retarded. So if you're half retarded in domination, um, I just want to give you guys some tips and tricks. Um, obviously, if you're a pro, you shouldn't be watching this video. But before we go, please click that like button and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. And click the annotation on our screen. It will take you to a different video. So make sure to do that. So let's go ahead and get to my class setup. Um, in this video, I was using the AN94. Um, I just use um, assault rifles in general, uh, um, just because they're long range and short range. Um, you can either play defensive or aggressively with the with assault rifles, and um, obviously I would suggest that you use a gun that you're comfortable with and what you do best with. Um, I wouldn't suggest using a suppressor because it's not like what planes you're going to destroy. They're going to know where you are in the first place because they're all going for the objective. Another thing, I would not use a sniper rifle. Um, because a sniper rifle is not really meant for playing aggressively. Um, so just make sure you stick to the assault rifles. Um, shotguns, I think, are okay. Um, some, ma some machine guns, light machine guns are really great. Um, so make sure to use those weapons and try to stay away from sniper rifles when trying to play competitively on domination. So let's go ahead and get into uh, my strategy when playing domination. And first of all, I would like to say try to get into a lobby and share these techniques with your friends if they don't play domination that much. Um, first of all, let me show this little picture of what I made to kind of give you guys an example of what um, I usually do in certain destroy and with a party. Now, this isn't necessarily spawn trapping, but it kind of is in both ways. But it's really, it's a really good strategy, and it, you always win if you know this. Um, and if you got good players in the lobby, you know how to work together as a team, and that's why I'm bringing you this gameplay. It isn't the best kill wise, but you can see in the gameplay you, you really look together. I mean, work together. Excuse me. And um, you can see that we won, so um, just take a look at the picture here, okay? You can see where the red is. Um, this is just an example. Um, you can, th um, this can relate to pretty much any map. Um, you do not want to go past um, those certain alleys, or you can kind of see you don't want to go past that red line on here in slums. We're trying to stay back because um, if you go past that line, they're going to start spawning behind you. Now what you what we're trying to do here is trying to cap C and B and hold those two down because you can hold the lead with just two flags obviously but um, what you're going to do is play a little defensively and kind of stay back a little bit. It's not necessarily camping but I guarantee that you can hold this down if your teammates are working together and you should um, stack up some kill streaks and really just completely rape um, the hell out of these half retarded guys. That sounded wrong. Um, so I would suggest that you have a few guys running so maybe a st I mean F F FHJ excuse me I was about to say stinger um, maybe um, a few guys running UAVs counter UAVs you really need to work together in domination if you're wanting to win and if, if, if there's someone on your team that accidentally switches the spawn just make sure you hurry up and run to that one um, that you're um, that the enemies like let them have the one behind you and you move up and just switch the spawn back again to the other side um, and another thing I want to share with you guys is how to get out of a triple cap. So let's say you guys are getting triple cap right now. Um, let's say that um, you guys are spawning at, let's say, around A. So what you're one going to do is going to have one guy or just a, a few guys run as far as they can to the other side of the map, which is going to cause them to spawn the other side of the map, and make sure you kill them on that side, which will cause them to spawn the other side. So you're able to cap that flag over there. And your teammates are still coming up from the other side. Will really help, um, give you guys an advantage of capping that back um, black again. So that's really easy to do. Um, so that's what I pretty much have for you guys for domination tips and tricks. And if you guys please remember to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. We really do work hard on our videos. Um, right now we both have both have HD VRs and we're editing the Sony Vegas 12. So we're gonna be planning on producing, like I said in my previous video. Um, at least two to three videos a week so make sure to check our channel for that um, I really hope you guys um, enjoy our videos um, if you wouldn't mind leaving feedback to and how ways we can be improved I mean be honest um, if they're like if I suck just tell me <laughs> it just really helps us out um, 
so that's what I pretty much have for you guys today. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. So click that like button and subscribe.